Good morning. We're looking at example 5, producing a graph from tables out of section 6.1, evaluating and graphing functions of several variables out of business calculus with Excel. We're looking at 3D revenue graph for the function. In particular, we're interested in the function. Revenue is 10 times the quantity of gizmos minus the quantity of gizmos squared over 50 plus 20 times the quantity of widgets minus the quantity of widgets squared over 40. This is the graph, revenue graph, where we have two products, widgets and gizmos that we're selling. We want to look at the surface and wireframe graphs, and we'll see how to make the graph look better by not putting the variables in the corner. And so the first thing is we want to look at, we've assumed we've already made our table of graphs, and the first try we're going to do is we're going to look at it and highlight the whole table. We'd like to insert a graph. I'm going to go over to this tab and I have th surface graphs listed. There's a general graph, a wireframe model, contour graph, and contour without the shading. I'm going to start with the surface graph. And we notice this isn't really what I'm interested in because what it's done is it said this whole table is a table of values and so I'm simply going to say my variables are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and the series going the other way. So we simply counted out these columns and these rows and it doesn't give us a very good graph. So the next thing to try is I'm going to try the same kind of thing, except I'm only going to use the values inside. I again go to my insert. I'd like to insert a graph. I'm going to insert a surface graph. This is a better graph. It has the values on the side. It doesn't have the, va doesn't have the variable values in because I didn't put it in part of the graph, but it actually shows the right kind of surface that I'm looking at. So what I'm going to want to do is change my setup a little bit and I've taken the variable names out of this corner and moved them into a row at top and a row beside and now I'm going to make the same graph. I'd like to insert a surface graph and now we see the values of the variables on the edge so this is the kind of graph we want. I'd have to go in and put the variable names in separately and add them, but this gives me the kind of graph that I want. I can do the same kind of thing, and looking at the graph, I insert a graph, except this time my surface graph isn't a surface graph, but a wireframe graph, and you can decide which of these two you like is the better graph between the surface graph and the wireframe graph. So the best way to do it is to have that space empty the space in the corner empty, and then put the variables on the side so you can see them on the table. This gives me a better graph, but quite frankly, Excel is a pretty bad grapher for functions of several variables, so I'm going to go to some other tool like Wolfram Alpha. One of the things to note is that Wolfram Alpha only does variables that are one letter long, and so quantity of gizmos and quantity of widgets just turns into G and W. I'm going to look at graphing, plotting my function where gizmos goes from 0 to 500 and widgets goes from 0 to 700 and this gives me a reasonably good graph. I can either look at the surface graph or the contour graph and I can show contour lines on my surface graph. 